So look at the statements. All fathers are brothers. Some daughters are not brothers. Some mothers are daughters. All sisters are brothers. No father is a mother. Okay. So let's draw the basic diagram for these statements, right? All fathers are brothers. All fathers are brothers, right? All the fathers are brothers. Some daughters are not brothers. Now this is some not type of statement. So be careful, right? Some daughters are not brothers. Some daughters are not brothers. Now remember, you know, you have to be careful. Since this is some not type of statement, let me highlight what are we actually talking about. When we say some daughters are not brothers, I am shading this uh, statement here, right? And I'll show the similar shading in the diagram as well so that you can understand what it means. Some daughters are not brothers. We are referring to this outside daughters, which are not brothers. You understand? Some daughters are not brothers. See, the problem, like I've mentioned in the past as well, is that for some A's are B's and some A's are not B's. Right? For both these statements, the diagram is same. You getting it? This is A and this is B. The only difference is when we say some A's are B's, right? Let me again use a highlighter, right? When we say some A's are B's, some A's are B's, we refer to this region, this common region, right? But when we say uh, some A's are not B's, right? Like for example, this region here, some A's are not B's. We refer to which region? The region of A which is not overlapping with B. So while the diagram is same, the region that we're talking about is different. So you got to be careful when we say some A's are not B's. Like in this case, we say some daughters are not brothers. We are referring to the daughters which are outside, right? Then some mothers are daughters. Some mothers are daughters, right? Now we are drawing a basic diagram. Basic diagram means what? Minimum encroachment. There has to be minimum overlapping between different sets. So some mothers are daughters can be drawn in multiple ways. We can draw mothers overlapping with brothers, mothers overlapping with fathers and so on. But we want minimum overlapping, right? Minimum encroachment. So ideally we should draw mothers this side. Some mothers are daughters, right? So some mothers are daughters. Overlapping with only daughters and not with fathers and brothers. The next statement says all sisters are brothers. All sisters are brothers. Now how do you draw all sisters are brothers? All the sisters should come inside brothers, right? All sisters are brothers. Now when you're drawing sisters inside brothers, you can overlap sisters with fathers, overlap sisters with daughters and all, but ideally you should avoid it because it's a basic diagram. So let's draw sisters in this way. All sisters are brothers. All the sisters are inside brothers, but they are not in contact with fathers or daughters, right? Minimum encroachment. And the last point is no father is a mother. No father is a mother is satisfied anyway. No father is a mother. But what we will do is for our understanding uh, pictorially, we will put cross, cross marks on these two uh, diagrams here, these two sets here, fathers and mothers. Means what? These two circles cannot touch each other. Come what may, these two will not overlap with each other. F and M will not touch each other, right? No father is a mother. So that's the basic diagram, right? You got to draw the basic diagram very carefully, right? I'll repeat this again. All fathers are brothers. You see, all the fathers are brothers. Some daughters are not brothers. Some daughters are not brothers. So these outside daughters are not brothers, right? Some of them may be brothers, but definitely some are not brothers. Then some mothers are daughters. Some mothers are daughters. Some of the mothers are daughters. Then all sisters are brothers. All the sisters are inside the circle representing brothers, right? So all sisters are brothers. And no father is a mother. No father is a mother. Father and mother will not touch each other, right? Now look at the conclusions, right? The first one. Some daughters, if they are brothers, are necessarily not mothers. Now this is the definite type of conclusion, right? He says some daughters, if they are brothers, are not mothers, are not mothers. Now, the focus should be on daughters if they are brothers. Right? Some daughters if they are brothers. So, so look at this part, right? Daughters which are brothers. Daughters which are brothers. I'll do one thing. For better understanding, let us use different shading here. I mean, different color shading so that we can follow it easily. So, daughters which are brothers. Daughters which are brothers. Find out that region here in the diagram. Daughters which are brothers. The daughters which are brothers is this region. The common region between daughters and brothers. Now the conclusion says that this, let, let's call it blue now. Like this is blue shading, right? So blue. So some blue are not mothers. Some blue are not mothers. You understand? And what is blue here? This blue shaded region. So some blues are not mothers. Some Bs are not Ms. Some Bs are not Ms. If you look at the basic diagram, yes, it is satisfied. Some Bs are not M. Here are Bs, the blues. And this is M. So some Bs are not M. Some blues are not M is satisfied. But the question that arises is, while it has satisfied the basic diagram, will it satisfy the other diagrams? Because for a definite conclusion to be true, 
for a definite conclusion to be true, it should not only satisfy the basic diagram, but it should satisfy the possible diagrams as well. I hope all of you understand that basic diagram is only one, but possible diagrams can be many. Like for example, instead of drawing mothers this way, we can draw mothers in multiple ways, right? Instead of drawing sisters here in this way, we can draw sisters overlapping with fathers, sisters being completely equal to brothers, sisters overlapping with daughters and so on. But we have tried keeping minimum encroachment in the basic diagram. So the point is, the conclusion here, given here, the first conclusion, some blues are not mothers, is satisfied in the basic diagram. Blues are not mothers. But will it always satisfy is the question that we have to verify from possible diagrams. Now, if you don't have to draw the diagram always, right? You can, you can just visualize the diagram and say that the first conclusion is false. I mean, I can visualize a diagram where the first conclusion will become false. So without even drawing a diagram, I can say first one does not follow. First one is not true. But for you to help understand this, I'll have to draw the diagram. See, simple. The statement given was uh, some mothers are daughters. Look at this statement. Some mothers are daughters. We have drawn it in this way. Some mothers are daughters. This is one way of drawing it. Let me draw mothers in a different way, using a different color, right? Possible, possible way of drawing mothers. What is the statement? Some mothers are daughters, right? Some mothers are daughters. So can we not draw mothers in this way? Some mothers are daughters in this way. This is possible, right? This green color in place, possibility, right? This is a possible way of drawing mothers. What is definite has already been drawn in this red color here, but this is a possible way of drawing it. Did we violate any of the statements? No. Look at the statements. Statement said some mothers are daughters. Yes, some mothers are daughters. There is a overlapping here. Some mothers are daughters. Then where else is mother involved? No father is a mother. No father is a mother is also satisfied. See, fathers and mothers are not touching each other. Right? Fathers and mothers are not touching each other. That means this is a possible way of drawing mothers in green color here, where without violating any of the statements, we find that the first conclusion goes false. Did we break any of the statements? No, we did not break any of the statements. Statements are all satisfied. Some mothers are daughters. Yes. No father is a mother. Yes. Both are satisfied. Now go back and check the conclusion. Some blues are not mothers. If you look at this diagram now, some blues are actually becoming mothers, right? See blues and greens overlapping. You understand? Some blues are going inside mothers. The statement conclusion said some daughters, if they are brothers, which means this region, are necessarily not mothers. Here, see, some daughters are becoming mothers. So the first conclusion is wrong. First conclusion satisfies the basic diagram but fails in the possible diagram, right? Hence it is wrong. But like I said, you don't have to draw this actually in the exam, right? You can visualize and say that first one is wrong. Let's now go to the second one, right? What's the second conclusion? Second conclusion says some mothers are not sisters. Some mothers are not sisters. Now again, if you look at the basic diagram, yes, some mothers are not sisters satisfied. Mothers and sisters do not overlap. But will it always satisfy? No. Again, we can draw the possible diagram. Let me draw the possible diagram in this way. What is the statement? Some mothers are daughters. Can I not draw some mothers are daughters in this way? Again, we have not violated any of the statement. Some mothers are daughters. Yes, some mothers are daughters. Sorry, M. This is not D. This is M. Did we violate any of the statements? No. Some mothers are daughters. Yes, some mothers are daughters. You can see there is an overlapping, right? Some mothers are daughters, right? Then no father is a mother. Yes, no father is a mother. Father and mother are not touching each other. So this also is a possible way of drawing M. There's a possible way. It's not the definite uh, basic way, but possible way of drawing mothers. Now, if I go by this possible way, what happens? The second conclusion goes false. Some mothers are not sisters. Basic diagram satisfied. Some mothers are not sisters. But in this possible diagram, mothers are becoming sisters, right? Some mothers have become sisters. This is an overlapping. So the point is, while conclusion 2 clears the basic diagram, it fails in the possible diagram. Conclusion 2 clears the basic diagram, it fails in the possible diagrams. Hence, it is false. Hence it is false because for a conclusion to be true, it should satisfy not only the basic diagram, but all the possible diagrams as well. Okay, so neither one nor two follows. Neither one nor two is true. Neither conclusion one nor conclusion two is true. Option three would be the answer.